Hello my friends, Katie Day with Cobalt Banker out here in East Downtown. Going to introduce y'all to Christy, Alex, and Seaside Poga. You follow me on social media, you know I've been here once or twice. Um, this is one of my favorite restaurants in Houston, so excited to be able to sit down and chat with y'all. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I grew up in Houston, born and raised, and um, when we decided to open a business, we were like, what does Houston need? And this was a really popular concept on the West and East Coast, but we wanted to bring it to Houston um, and do it, give it a little bit of a southern twist. So that's why, that's how we came from the seaside. Um, all the stuff that we offer in our, on our menu uh, has been tested and and tried by a hundred million people outside <laughs> of just us, so yeah. we didn't go in blind. Yeah. Um, and that was uh, kind of like how we came about. So we like to describe a poke bowl as a deconstructed sushi roll in a bowl. Um, as far as like how we build the bowl, it's essentially like a Chipotle or a Subway where you put you put in your order what you want, and then we put it all together in front of you, and then you pay at the very end. Um, we have four different types of protein. We have salmon, tuna, yellowtail, and spicy tuna. And you can get, it, get that on a bit of rice, salad, or half rice, half salad. Um, and then you have a bunch of mixins that you can incorporate as well. Um, we definitely have like the basic ones as far as like green onions, cucumbers, white onions. But then we also incorporate a lot of seasonal ingredients that change every week. So we have like, sometimes we'll do purple, purple ninja radish, or we'll do fried Brussels sprouts, or we'll do watermelon radish, green beans, broccoli, cauliflower, um, things of that sort. And um, we like, like to keep it different and like to try to keep it like, changing. So it's, you always have something different every time you come in here. Um, then we also have textures that you could top it off with, like puff rice, fried shallots, fried garlic, nori strips, which is like dried seaweed. And then we have oils, which we, um, which is something that we do a little bit different over here. Um, we have about eight different oils, like extra virgin olive oil, sesame, chili, lemon, oil, truffle, cilantro, and Thai basil. Yeah, like cilantro, Thai basil. All of our stuff is made in-house. So all of our sauces are made in the back. All of our recipes that we've come up or that we provide have, come, have been come up by our own team. Um, all of our oils are made in house as well, and a lot of our textures and stuff as well are made in house too. The rice crispy treats. Rice yeah. crispy <laughs> treats are made in house made in too. House. What do you recommend to people if they've never been in before, like what they should try? They're all heavy hitters in their own right. Like it's yeah. so hard. Everyone <laughs> always asks, like, what's the most popular one? Yeah. And really, you have it, to try them all. Yes, and yeah. it really depends on your mood. Like, it, they're all great in their own way. Yeah, it just depends on what you're in the mood for, I guess. So, like, if you want yeah. something more on the creamier side, you got the tuna aioli. It's yeah. made with avocado and spicy mayo. Um, Trouble yellowtail is definitely the crowd favorite. Um, it's more on the smokier side, so we add a little bit of like cilantro, serrano peppers, red tobacco, and then our truffle shoyu. Um, very oaky for the most part. Um, very savory as well. And you want something on, something on the lighter side, salmon ponzu is really good. It's made with our ponzu sauce. Yeah. It's made with, um, it's like half citrus, half soy, so it's yeah. like a vinaigrette of our sauces. As far as our vendors, all of our stuff, is even our drinks too, they're all locally sourced. Our beer, we only carry 8th Wonder, which is right down the street. Yeah. Yeah. Um, our kicking kombucha, that's right down the street as well. Our yeah. Shayla coffee, that's um, their kitchen is right down the street too. Yeah. And we just brought in um, another brand called Richard's Wet Rainwater, which is from Austin. It's like a sparkling water and bottled water as well and then our farmers too um kobe rice farms they pretty much source all of their produce from the southern region of the united states and things like that so we really try to localize um, our products as much as possible where can people find you all on social media yeah, just, just, like, just google, google us just google, google us <laughs> yeah um all of our handles are um, seaside poke our website is www.seasidepoke.com all right well that is seaside poke we are off of St. Emanuel in East Village, just east of downtown in Edo. Uh, stop by and tell them we sent you.